Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm in a Channel the Arcturian Council. <laughs> oh <laughs> The different levels of consciousness that are currently existing on your planet and we have noticed that those of you who are awake are more than compensating for those who are living their lives in the dark, who are playing the roles of the villains, Now, we want to be very clear about what we are saying here. It is those of you who are awake and who are focusing on the truth that you are source energy beings, that you are love incarnate. who are the ones doing the balancing of the energies. Those who are constantly on a witch hunt for the villains of your planet. are not balancing those energies at all. In fact, they are lowering their vibration, 
while on that witch hunt. And they are not examining themselves at all to see what these villains represent that also exist inside of them. But those of you who are living the truth that you are source energy beings, know that source is all-inclusive. And so you are not attempting to root out the evildoers of the world, but rather you are focusing on the good that exists within yourselves and within others. You are seeing the good in those who may not deserve that perspective to be placed upon them. But you know what your role is as a light worker. As a light worker, you are there to shine light. You are not there to go into the darkness with weapons of some kind to defeat those in the darkness, and you know that. And this is a good time for this reminder to hit all of you who are truly awake because the smear campaigns on your world are going to continue and you will not know what is true and what isn't. For quite some time. It is best then for you to stay in the light and invite others to join you in the light. Allowing more of source energy to flow through you is what will create this tipping point that many are looking for. You are there to serve that purpose. You are there to do your part. And oftentimes that means forgiving the villains and even having compassion for them so that you can stay in that Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness is not about excluding others. Which is why all of these scenarios where half of humanity ascends and half does not makes absolutely no sense. You are all in this together. And when you can love unconditionally the worst of humanity, because you have decided that you are love, that's when you know you are ready to take humankind into the higher consciousness that is the fifth dimension. And those of you who are receiving this message understand that at your core. And you are the ones doing the heavy lifting there on your planet. You are the ones who will continue to invite 
your fellow humans to the light, to seeing the good in others, to being in that state of forgiveness and compassion. And that's what makes a difference on your world. That's the only thing that is going to tip the scales for humanity. That is going to change the world that you live on. And you will be saving yourselves in the process. Because when you go down those rabbit holes of who is doing what in the dark, you find yourself in the dark. And that's not where you belong. You are there to save. You are there to help. You are there to heal. And from what we see, those of you who are awake enough to receive this message are making good on that promise that you made to yourselves and all of humanity when you decided to incarnate there. And that makes us very happy. Well, the turn counts, and we have enjoyed connecting with fan she's here <laughs> she is here I got my splint on this time I don't want to give you guys a finger but <laughs> it's the middle one <laughs> uh, yeah we put the splint on tonight it's on very loose because it um, you know any pressure and it really is not a good good situation um, but it's taped so it's not going anywhere um, and, and my, my finger's not broken. <laughs> it's just to protect the little nub at the top there. <laughs> Thank you for all the, the love and the well wishes and the suggestions and, and everything. I really appreciate all of it. I don't have the time to respond to every single person, unfortunately. My goal is to get to bed before 2 a.m. And uh, anything I add to what I'm already doing will certainly add to that bedtime uh, number so uh, I just thank you and appreciate you and um, yeah um, day off tomorrow day off tomorrow for me and for the videos too so no video tomorrow night don't worry about me uh, I'm, we're gonna get food tomorrow that tomorrow's like a food shopping day and then uh, hopefully some time at the end of the day to hang out with the baby. Definitely some time at the beginning of the day for that, before I head out. The plan now is for me to do that grocery shopping on my own when, um, and yes, my, my wife has asked me if I'm gonna be okay like several times <laughs> to do it, but I'm sure I can handle it. And our neighbor offered to, and very sweet of everybody. But this, uh, this hand is very capable of grabbing groceries and putting them in a cart, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I forgot that uh, I had a new Raised by Wolves to watch, so I'm gonna watch that tonight. And um, I don't know, this, this call, Halt and Catch Fire show is really good. Even though I don't really like period pieces and now something that's in the 1980s, I'm including as a period piece. <laughs> um, I don't really like things that are set too far in the past, but this is good. This is really, it's just so well done, so well written and everything. All the characters very well drawn. 
Um, I didn't get a lot of time with Talea today, but um, it was it was good time in the playpen with her and uh, um, trying to think of anything she did that was particularly cute. Uh, she likes she likes giving me the rattle, so we have one of these wooden rattles, I'm trying to keep as much plastic out of our lives as possible. So I'll rattle the rattle, and then she'll like want to do it and then I'll hand it to her and she'll do it for a little bit and we have this other thing that we do where I say uh, crazy arms and she goes with both her arms I'm not going to do it with this one but she does this with both her arms and uh, and then she'll she'll play with the rattle a little bit and then she'll hand it back to me and it's uh, it's very cute and she's she's getting very affectionate too with the kisses and stuff so that's pretty awesome um, so yeah life is uh, still good here <laughs> In spite of the finger situation, um, somebody wrote that it will the skin will grow back over, and I'm I'm sure it'll look you know pretty normal, and it's not like it's not a I just as long as I can type right now typing is really hard with these four fingers and keeping this one out of the way, uh, especially transcribing this, which I'm usually I'm at my limit in terms of like trying to keep up with uh, typing. This whole, not that I don't type this part up, <laughs> just typing up the channel part. Um, oh, and I've got Money Mastery course coming up on the 22nd. Please sign up for that. There's a link to it in the uh, description on YouTube. And if you're watching on Instagram or Facebook, just go on my website and click events, the events tab on the left on the menu, menu bar and you'll see it. That's coming up, starts on the 22nd. That one's usually uh, much more uh, highly attended than it seems to be <laughs> this time around. I don't know if I'm just teaching it too often or what, but um, yeah, I hope more people sign up for that. And uh, I hope you're, you're gonna have a great weekend wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and um, blessings to you and yours, namaste. I will be back again Saturday night for me. It's Thursday night now, yeah. And um, it'll be Sunday for most of you watching it. Again, I appreciate all the well wishes, all the suggestions. Uh, I feel fine. The antibiotics suck, but what am I going to do? I can't risk an infection. And uh, they make me really sleepy. <laughs> so I've been sleeping really well. <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you. Good night. Goodbye. See you, tomorrow. Uh, see you in two days.